Hello and welcome to another video in this series all about the basics of using Fantasy Grounds Unity and in this one we are going to be looking at uh, rollable tables. So let's uh, open up the rollable tables menu. We've got nothing here at the moment so we want to create a new one and we are going to just click on the green plus button to add an item as usual. So uh, we need a title, whatever you want. The description is entirely optional. You can type in here uh, a description of uh, what the uh, table does and how to use it, um, but it's entirely optional. Uh, we have the roll button, which we would use to actually make a roll on the table, but obviously since there's nothing on the table, we'll not do that yet. We've got a little eye icon here. Now this will only be visible if we have the option show GM roll set to on. Um, by clicking on that and greying it out, we will make the role that we make on this table as the DM invisible to the players. Uh, if it's left as visible, then the players will see the role. If we change the uh, show GM roles to off, then we don't get that button because the GM roles are switched to off uh, anyway. So we'll just put that back on for fun. Uh, we then have uh, two little boxes here which uh, are under the heading custom. Um, in here we can uh, add dice. Now you don't need to add dice unless the dice that you want to roll are a bit weird. So for example if we wanted to roll a, a die 6 we would drag a d6 in there and then a roll a, 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 oops, a, a die 8 uh, and a die 6 together. Then we would need to tell Fantasy Grounds that that's what we need to do. And it shows here that it's got a 1d8 plus 1d6. And when we roll in this table, it's going to roll a d6 and a d8 and add the results together. But we don't need to do that. Um, you can also add in a modifier into this box. So if we wanted to make it a 1d6 or a 1d8 plus 1d6 plus 2, then you can uh, have that in there as well. Uh, if you make a mistake and you want to clear the dice, then just right click and select clear dice. And then the output box, uh, we've got that set to chat. If we click on that, we can send it to a story, we can send it to a partial, we can send it to an encounter and back to chat. Uh, this uh, button here, the edit list, if we open that up, this allows us to edit the table. Uh, we can add uh, more rows if we wanted to by clicking on the green add row button. And we can uh, add more columns if we click on the add column button. And we can remove the uh, rows and columns as we so desire by using these edit buttons here. So let's make, uh, I should say the label here, uh, we can put in whatever you want in there. Uh, it, again, it, it's optional, it doesn't matter really very much. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a one in this row and then we're going to uh, uh, click and then we're going to put a two in this row and when we tab out, it'll sort itself out into the right order. Um, and then we're going to need to uh, show what the result is. So this is uh, as simple a table as we can get, two rows. Um, we've got two possible uh, uh, results from this. And when we roll on the table, it'll tell us that uh, we've got uh, white. And if we roll again, it'll tell us that we got white again. So that's as simple uh, as it can. Basically, a rollable table is going to give you a random result from whatever you add in to here. You can have as many rows as you like, you can have as many columns as you like, um, and you can get very complicated uh, in what you can do with these rollable tables. Um, but for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you some examples of how you might be able to use tables in your campaign. Uh, so the uh, first one that I'm going to show you um, uh, might be something to do with uh, the uh, players uh, rolling uh, for their uh, sort of uh, ideals and bonds and flaws. Uh, we're going to uh, just have the one column, uh, one uh, row here, and we're going to add in uh, a couple more columns. Make this a little bit bigger to see what you're uh, looking at here. Um, and then we're going to go to the uh, character uh, backgrounds and we're going to uh, find the acolyte. 
and these tables here are already uh, exist in the uh, Fantasy Grounds in the Player's Handbook. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to drag and drop each of these uh, tables uh, into one of these uh, columns here. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put a 1 in here. Uh, and I'm now ready to roll on this table. And uh, when I do, what it's going to do is it's going to go right along the row and it's going to roll on each of these tables in turn and it's going to produce a result, which you can see in chat. So you can use a table to roll on other tables, essentially. Um, if we wanted to make this a bit neater, we would probably change the output here to story. And when we do so, a story entry pops up. Um, and we get a, a clearer view of the text that has been uh, produced by the rolling on the table. So that's really just a very simple table um, just to illustrate how the columns and everything like that work. If you had several columns here, columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then what it would do, it would be rolling a random dice between 1 and 6. It would then uh, take that result and it would output the result for that particular uh, row. And another interesting thing uh, you can do uh, with uh, tables is to uh, roll uh, a, a randomly or a random number of times on uh, another table. But if we uh, have a look at the uh, tables in Chapter 7 of the Dungeon Master's Guide, if we have a look at the 1000 gold piece gemstones table, for example, this is just a fairly simple table. It rolls a d8 and it's going to output um, whatever you roll if you roll a six then you're going to get a star ruby uh, and we can see that this is an item which has been uh, included uh, in the, uh, the dungeon master's guide so if we were to roll on this table here then we're just going to get a result and it's going to fire out a fire opal in this case uh, because we rolled uh, a four if we wanted to create a treasure parcel uh, from this um, then uh, we might want to uh, create another table and then roll a number of times on this to see how many gemstones we got. Um, so we can do this. We go back to our uh, uncategorized again and we'll create a new table. Uh, we'll give it a heading as normal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this table in here and uh, drop it on this line. I'm going to get rid of the uh, extra space here. We're just going to put the numbers in as one. And then I'm going to position my cursor just after the link here. And I'm going to open the square brackets. I'm going to type in 1d6. And then I'm going to type uh, across uh, or a multiplication sign. And then I'm going to close the uh, square brackets like so. And I'm then going to change the output, in this case, to a partial because I want this to uh, output to a treasure partial. And then I'm going to roll on a dice. So what it's doing then, it has rolled um, 1d6 times on this table here. Uh, and each time that it's called this table, it's rolled a result. And it has placed uh, the uh, items that we have got for the treasure into a treasure partial. Um, you can do a very similar thing uh, with uh, NPCs. So if we were to uh, make another uh, table here, um, maybe we wanted to set up a, a random encounter. So we're going to uh, get a goblin here. We're going to drag in this goblin. Uh, we're going to edit this to get rid of the excess uh, rows. We're just needing one row here. And then we are going to uh, open the square brackets again. We're going to type in 1d6, our multiplication sign close the square brackets uh, and uh, make a space there. And then we're going to uh, change this output here to an encounter. Uh, and when we roll, we're going to get an encounter with, uh, in this case, uh, four goblins. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do with uh, 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 rollable tables uh, using existing resources, which uh, are within the various core rule books, etc. in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Um, th the best thing you can really do to um, sort of see what rollable tables can do is to look at some of the ones that uh, exist in the um, Dungeon Master's Guide and uh, other resources and various uh, uh, adventures as well. Uh, good examples uh, for this if we uh, search for uh, treasure here. Um, 
we can see that uh, here's uh, treasure hoards, uh, treasure hoard tables, and this, uh, these kind of things, it's, it it basically um, replicates what's in the uh, Dungeon Master's uh, Guide, the hardback, and it makes a roll for you on this table, and it will give you um, a result depending on uh, what role is here and what is along this line. And you can see if we got uh, these uh, coins ones, if you go to these ones here, then these get uh, even more uh, complicated um, because they are uh, rolling. So this one here, we're rolling uh, 2d4 times on the 25 gold piece uh, art objects. And we're also uh, adding in some uh, coins. Now the square brackets here is just another way of calling uh, a table. You don't need to link the table. It's, I just find it easier, but you can just uh, enclose the name of the table with the, this the, the square brackets. And it has to be exactly the same. So treasure hoard coins challenge 0510, that's this one here. So basically what that's doing is it's rolling. Uh, this table is going to roll uh, on this table and it will output all the results uh, from that. If we go down here, we can see that we're rolling 1d4 times on magic item table B. And all of this is just going to uh, roll all of these uh, items. So these can get, as I say, uh, fairly complicated. You can have lots of rows, lots of columns. You're not restricted to uh, just the small tables. So that's really, uh, it's really about it, really, as far as rollable tables is concerned. It's a kind of a flavor, if you like, um, because it's very hard to sort of uh, create a video which um, is specific because your specific needs may be different. So uh, play around uh, with the, the different uh, methods of uh, rolling on rollable tables and see what you come up with. And if you've got any queries or anything like that, then put them in the comments and I'll uh, try my best to uh, answer them. So thanks for watching. Cheers for now.